Hello, my name is Andre Farnell, fitness mindset coach and master trainer at betterbodyexpert.com. And today we're gonna to be looking into an exercise that replaces the deadlift. Now that's the tall order because the deadlift is such a functional exercise that works so many muscles from the top of your uh, traps all the way down to the ankles. So in order to replace this very powerful exercise, we're gonna have to inactivate three different exercises. So number one, we're gonna start with the squat. Then we're gonna take it to a prone lat pull, which will take over the muscles of the back and the erector spinae muscles, as well as your hamstrings. And then we're gonna finish with a core movement called the plank. So our first exercise is gonna be a squat. And that's gonna tackle the prime movers that would be activated during a deadlift. So that's your hamstrings, your gluteus maximus, and your quadriceps on the front of your legs. For the squat, we're gonna have a nice, relaxed position here in the hands and in the shoulder. And the first movement is gonna be sitting back into the squat, making pretend there's a chair, and then taking it down, allowing the weight to take you down as far as you can go. And then returning to a standing position. That'll be your squat. So it looks like this in real time. Keeping the chest nice and high, the back muscles activated, and the core engaged, you can get the prime movers of a deadlift within your squat. So the second exercise that is targeting the back um, to replace the deadlift would be the pronated lat pull. Um, it's a very difficult exercise, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it now. First with no weight, then I'll show you what it looks like with weight. So laying out in a full out stretch position, you wanna raise your head because in the dead pull, you will have your head placed back. That engages the top part of your traps. Raise both hands out in front of you and then pull in an arcing motion all the way back. You'll feel your lats contract as well as your traps and pull. Now raise your head as far back as you can this also works the muscles of the lower back. It works every single muscle in your back, <laughs> period, <laughs> and forward. Um, for someone who's a little stronger, you're gonna wanna use a weight, and not a heavy weight either, like two pounds to five pounds. This is gonna be a challenge. Raise, pull, back forward, pull and forward. That's just two. Third and final is gonna be to activate the muscles further of the back and now your abs. So to hold the plank in a nice flat position is gonna target all the muscles of your core. A good way to uh, work into a plank is to do what is called a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you're gonna be up for 15 seconds, up, hold for 15 seconds, and then down for 15 seconds. Those three exercises combine to replace a deadlift. Um, one very functional exercise that works nearly all of the muscles of your body.